All right, tip 60. Common question we get are closing costs. How do I calculate my closing costs? Um, so fun fact, both buyers and sellers have closing costs. It's not like the wholesale has its own closing costs. Sellers are gonna have closing costs, that's their fees. Buyers are gonna have their closing costs and that's there. We're gonna talk about buyers closing costs. It's pretty darn near impossible to exactly give you a number of what your closing costs are going to be right in the beginning. We always estimate about 3%. It could be a little higher, it could be a little lower depending on what time of month you're closed or what time of year you close. Uh, and if you're buying new construction, closing costs are going to be more. Uh, typically we say it's about 4, maybe even 5% of uh, the purchase price is going to be a closing cost. But on average for a resale home, it's about 3% of the purchase price. Uh, closing costs. A lot of questions we get is, hey, can I just take my closing costs and roll them into my loan? Yes and no. Yes, if you want to go ahead and pay for a higher interest rate, you can take that money, talk to your lender, and see if they can just roll in your closing costs, but you are gonna be paying a higher fee. No, if you don't want to uh, affect your interest rate and you want to keep it at that really nice low interest rate you got, then you're gonna have to pay for your closing costs up front. The way we kind of negotiate that is ask to see if the sellers will go ahead and help us cover your person, person uh, excuse me, portion of closing costs as a buyer. But keep in mind the seller also has closing costs, so they may or may not be as ready and uh, available to do that. Hope that helps. That was closing costs.